All right, so this is going to be a part of the uh, paper plate series. Typically, if you were doing waiting at food bowls, you would have a food bowl and not a paper plate. But because as a professional trainer who's running group classes, you can use paper plates so your students have a chance to practice. Yeah, that's what we're talking about today. So your students have the chance to practice this in class with your supervision. Um, this is going to be two exercises, essentially the paper plate series and teaching your dog the concept of no, as well as waiting at food bowls. So if you have a dog who's doing all of this, who might be jumping on your counters or jumping on you while you're trying to prepare their meals, uh, we're going to build some impulse control and be using our paper plate exercise to teach how to wait at food bowls. So we have Mr. Rooster here. We're going to ask him to sit. Good boy. And we're going to put his, his bowl down, right? Oh, there he goes. Naughty boy. Rooster, sit. Good. No. Sit. Good. No. So every time he stands, every time he makes a motion towards this plate, this would be your food bowl if you were feeding breakfast or dinner for your dog. Every time he makes a motion, I'm going to say no and I'm going to pick it up. Rooster, he's getting tired of my chit chat. Sit. Oh, yeah. Sit. Good. No. No. The down is fine. No. Oh, naughty boy. No. No. Yes, free. Very good job. Very good. So every time he made motion towards that paper plate, towards that food without permission, I said no, and I sort of lifted it up. Oh, now 